hello students welcome back to my youtube channel this is class 9 model question paper so that is going to be on 26th march so with answer so first my eight multiple choice questions will be there each carries one mark first question find the probability of the sure event that always should be one next come to second one the formula to find the area of sphere answer is 4 pi r square next the given figure the value of x is so here the given figure is given 18 uh, here straight line should be 180 so 180 minus 118 will get the value of x that is 62 answer is b 62 degree next if uh, 0 comma 2 comma 0 is the solution of the linear equation 2x plus 3y is equal to k then find the value of k put the x value 2 and y value 0 in this equation you will get the k value that is 4 next every rational number is an integer next come to two circles of having same center are called the concentric circles next in seventh one question in the given data so here okay data is given uh, printing mistake i think uh, it should be root 3 root 5 root 4 root 3 it, all number should has uh, root value so find the value of mode they said which number is most repeating number that is mode here repeating number is root 4 so answer for this is root 4 next come to eighth one which of the following is a rational number answer is zero next uh, answer the following question write the degree of the polynomial so here polynomial is given uh, check the power highest power is two so value, degree of this polynomial is two next write any one ancients write any one asian which when you have you uh, memorize next construct the 45 degree without using protractor so using compass we have to construct then in which quadrant the point minus 2 minus 2 lies so answer for this is third quadrant you have to write like this third quadrant next if I write the formula to find the volume of cone that is pi r, 1 by 3 pi r square h then identify the chord of the given figure the given figure is not here so I think print mistake next probability of uh, event lies between 0 and 1 says yes or no answer is no next if the angle of the quadrilateral are 75 degree 90 degree and 75 degree find the fourth angle so we know sum of four angle is equal to 360 degree add these three these three angle and minus with 360 will get the fourth angle so this is that next come to third main answer the following question so come to third main answer the following question to max rationalize the denominator and simplify the uh, 5 divided by root 3 minus root 5 so answer for this is rationalize the denominator so take denominator multiply and divided by denominator with sign change so numerator becomes 5 into root 3 plus root 5 denominator it is in the form of a square minus b square so we can write it as root 3 whole square minus root 5 whole square so numerator as it is denominator becomes 3 minus 5 so 3 minus 5 is minus 2 so minus goes up up so then multiply minus with whole now whole thing so answer will be minus 5 root 3 plus root 5 divided by 2 next come to 18th question simplify 2 plus root 3 whole square so it is in the form of a plus b whole square formula we have to use a square plus b square plus 2ab so that is the value of a and b you will get the answer so 2 plus root 3 whole square it is in the form of a plus b whole square answer is a square plus b square plus 2ab so a value is 2 b value is root 3 so it becomes 2 square plus root 3 whole square plus 2 into 2 into root 3 so 2 2 is a 4 root 3 root 3 root root get cancelled that becomes 3 2 2 is a 4 4 root 3 so 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 4 root 3 is the answer next come to question number 19 factorizing factorize using the suitable identity 16 in square minus 25 so it is in the form of 16 m square minus 25 so we can write it as 4 m whole square minus 5 square so it is in the form of a square minus b square we know the identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b a value is 4 m b value is 5 so 4 m plus 5 into 4 m minus 5 is the root so next question question number 20 in the given figure a b parallel to c d if a p q is 50 and p r d is 127 find the value of x and y so here 
a p r and p r d is alternate angle so that should be equal so 1 uh, 50 plus y is equal to 127 y is equal to 127 minus 50 you will get the y value 77 next crd should be 180 degree we know 127 plus z is equal to 180 degree keep z is this side 180 minus 127 will get the z value 53 then in take triangle pqr angle x plus y plus z is equal to 180 degree substitute the value of x and y z and y you will get the x value 50 so angles 50, x is 50 degree angle y is 75 degree next come to question number 21 2 coins are tossed simultaneously 20 times and we get 2 heads 6 times, 1 head 10 times and no head 4 times. Find the probability of getting no heads. So we know total P of S is total probability that is 20. Uh, P of N is 4. What we have find that should be P of E. So here P of E is equal to P of N divided by P of S. That no heads is 4 times. 4 divided by 20. 4 ones are 4 fives are. So probability of getting no heads is 1 by 5. Next question. In the given figure, O is the center of center, a circle of a center. Center of a circle. If the PVAQ is 65 degree, find the measurement angle of PVQ and POQ. So here angle PAQ and PBQ is equal because angle subtended in the same arc. So if PAQ is 65 degree then PBQ is also 65 degree. Now POQ is the central angle. We know central angle is equal to twice of the angle in the arc. So 2 PBQ or PAQ you can take 2 into 65 which is equal to POQ is 130 degree. Next find the area of triangle whose sides are 3 cm, 4 cm, 5 cm using formula. If using formula if they said it is should be using Heron's formula. So S is equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2 that we know. So that becomes S is 12 by 2 that is equal to 6. We know the Heron's formula for area of triangle. So area of triangle ABC is equal to square root of S into S minus C, S minus B and S minus C. S is 6, put the value of A and B and C, A value is 3, B value is 4 and C value is 5, that is sides of a triangle and uh, 6 minus 3, 3, 6 into 3 into 2 into 1, that becomes 6, 6 the 36, so square root of 36, 6, so area of triangle is 6 square centimeter. Next question number 24, find the volume of a hemisphere whose radius is 10 centimeter. So, here volume of hemisphere formula is so volume of hemisphere is equal to pi r cube pi 3 r is equal to 10. Substitute the value of 10 to this formula, you will get the answer 2095.2 cubic centimeter. Next, come to 3 mark question. Visualize 3.765 and the number line using the successive magnification. Here it should be 3. Point. So 3.765 here they said 3.765 so 3.7 first we have to take first number so take 3 point in the number line 3.1 3.2 3.3 3.4 3.5 .3 till 4 so that is 10 so 3.765 lies in between 3.7 and 3.8 so next take 10 parts of 3.7 and 3.8 so 3.7 3.71 3.72 3.73 till 3.8 so now we want 3.765 so it becomes 7 3.76 to 3.75 so take again number line 3 3.76 3.761 3.763 3.763 3.764 3.765 answer is this so, so we have to draw number line like this this carries three marks So 26th question in the given figure x plus y is equal to w plus z to prove that a o b is equal to 180 degree or one a o b is a straight line. Both are same straight line or 180 degree. Don't get confused. So we know sum of four angle is equal to 360 degree. The given x plus y is equal to w plus z. So x plus y plus w plus z is equal to 360 degree. So the x plus y as it is take w plus z write as x plus y because given 
so x to x plus y plus x plus y which becomes 2 x plus y is equal to 360 degree x plus y is equal to 362 comes down so 2 ones are 2 8 1 eight is also x plus y is equal to 180 degree that is equal to a o b so sum of angle across to a o b is 180 degree therefore a o b is a 180 degree and a o b is a straight line next question number 27 prove that diagonals of a parallelogram bisects each other so here take a parallelogram let a b c d is a parallelogram a b parallel to d c and a d parallel to b c because it is a parallelogram so take two triangle in triangle a o d and c o b a d is equal to b c because because opposite sides of a parallelogram so d a o and b c o which is equal because it is an alternate angle and a d o and a d o and c b o is also equal because it is an alternate angle by um, <clears throat> this a angle side angle postulate a o d triangle congruent to c o b so if the angles are triangles are congruent then a o is equal to o c and b o is equal to o d so therefore their diagonals of a parallelogram bisects each other so next question is 28th question expand using the suitable identity 2x plus 3y minus 4z whole square it should be square so it's not there i think print mistake so that is a plus b plus c whole square formula so a plus b plus c whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca substitute the value of a b and c you will get the answer so before move to further if you are new to my channel subscribe my channel and share it to your friends and stay tuned for more such updates next come to question number 29 angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 4 is to 7 find the angles so we know sum of angle is equal sum of 4 angle is equal to 360 degree so it is in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 4 is to 7 take it as 3x plus 4x plus 4x plus 7 which is equal to 360 degree so that is 18x is equal to 360 degree x is equal to 360 divided by 18 so x is equal to 20 degree so first angle would be 3x which is equal to 3 into x value is 20 put x value 3 into 20 60 degree second angle 4x 4 into 20 that is 80 degree third angle 4x that is 4 into 20 80 degree and 7x is equal to 7 into 20 which is equal to 140 degree this is the four angles next come to find the mean median and mode of the following data so following data arrange it is in the ascending order so then find the mean value mean value means sum of all number divided by number of numbers so add all numbers so you'll get 39 so number of numbers is 10 how many numbers are there 10 so 39 by 10 so mean becomes 3.9 then come to median n plus 1 divided by 2 n means 10 10 numbers are there 10 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 11 by 2 which is equal to 5.5 5.5 becomes sixth term which is sixth term here in the numbers so sixth term is 4 so answer for this median is 4 then come to mode highest frequency which number is repeated more times so that is frequency 7 is repeated 3 times so mode of this equation is 7 next come to question number 31 if a point c lies between two points a and b such that ac is equal to ab then prove that ac is equal to half of ab so here they said ab uh, ac ac is equal to bc given so adding ac both side ac plus ac is equal to bc plus ac 2 ac become ac plus ac which is equal to ab so ac is equal to half of ab so easy next the two question prove that equal chords of a circle substance equal at the equal angle at the center so in the given figure ab is and acd are the equal cards so take two triangle triangle aob and aos cod so OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD because radii of the same circle then AB is equal to AC that is given CD which is equal to A given by SSS postulate AOB and COD are congruent therefore hence uh, the statement is proved at uh, the conclusion write this statement next come to 33 
क्वेश्चन द हाइट ऑफ ए कॉनिकल टेंट इज फिफ्टी फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड रेडियस इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर ट्वेल्व मीटर फाइन दिस लैंड हाइट ऑफ द टेंट सो यट इज इन सेंटीमीटर एंड मीटर सो एल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एच स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर सो फिफ्टी फोर स्क्वायर प्लस वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड बिकॉज दिट इज इन सेंटीमीटर एंड इट इज इन मीटर आई हैव कन्वर्टेड इट इन टू सेंटीमीटर सो दैट विल बी यूल गेट दल वैल्यू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर एंड द एरिया ऑफ कॉन वी हैव टू फाइंड यूल गेट द आंसर सो फॉर दैट एरिया यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दी ईच कास्ट सो हाउ मच कास्ट दे हैव गिवन दैट मच कास्ट नेक्स्ट कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर फोर मार क्वेश्चन सो फिगर इज गिवन सम पॉइंट्स आर गिवन we have to find two triangles are congruent so take triangle apb and aqb so baq is equal to bp bap because bisector of ay ab next therefore next come to apb is equal to aqb which is equal to 90 degree given and ab is equal to ab because it is a common side so by angle side angle postulate these two triangles are congruent if these two triangles are congruent bp is equal to bq by cpct hence it is proved so if proving questions came only you have to prove these two triangle are congruent by angle 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 postulate or angle side angle postulate or side 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 postulate so only you have to prove these two take you have to take two triangles you have to prove that is congruent so if it is congruent then what they have given to uh, what they are asking for proof so write down that one only that much so next come to question number 35 solve by graphical method that is uh, linear equation that you know i think next come to locate root 3 on a number line that also you know then 237 you have to use the polynomial you have to divide and you have to verify this relations so then come to last main The volume of a right circular cone is nine eight five six cubic centimeter. If the diameter of the base is twenty eight centimeter, find the height, slant height, and curved surface area of the cone. So diameter is given twenty eight centimeter. R becomes twenty eight by two, which is equal to fourteen centimeter. So volume of cone formula we know one by three pi r square h. Volume of cone is given nine eight five six, and one by three into pi value is twenty two by seven. R value is fourteen, so r square is there. So fourteen into fourteen into h. So seven one zero seven two zero. So solve this, we will get the h value forty eight centimeter. Then come to second one, slant height. For for slant height formula we know we have to apply Pythagoras theorem. Which is equal to square root of r square plus h square. R we know, h we know. Substitute the value of r and h. We will get the slant height, which is equal to 50 centimeter. Then come to cos cos surface area of the cone, that is pi r l. So 22 by 7 pi value, r value is 14, l value is 50. So all this we will get the cos surface area of the cone, that is 2200 square centimeter. So this is your model question paper with answers. Stay tuned for more such updates.